giant teddy bear or massive tool. This booze boss doesn't care what you think. From balls-to-the-wall self-help to busting his beef shanks at Costco, John Taffer's hustling for a whole lot more than a little hit show on TV. I love cocktails. It makes total sense for a professional mixologist to launch a drink line for the home bartender. And after Bar Rescue became a hit, Taffer launched a collection of streamlined craft cocktail mixers. Dubbed Taffer's Mixologist, the line features the favorites, from a strawberry margarita mix to a spicy Bloody Mary, a minty mojito, and a classic cosmopolitan. In 2019, he expanded the operation with hard seltzers and punchy flavors like strawberry basil, pineapple coconut, and cucumber jalapeno. By 2021, there were even cherry lime, grapefruit, and elderflower options. Plus, at 100 calories a can, it's a guilt-free happy hour anyone can enjoy. Not only is Taffer clearly an accomplished businessman, he's also a best-selling author of several books, and he easily tapped into the self-help realm with business tips and tricks from the trenches of the food and drink service industry. He published his first book a couple of years after the show hit the air, calling it Raise the Bar, an action-based method for maximum customer reactions. It was his take on the perfect strategy behind a successful bar or restaurant. In 2018, Taffer published the bluntly titled Don't yourself. Crush the excuses that are holding you back. Compared to his previous effort, it focused more on the intertwining of business and personal responsibility. Finally, his 2022 book, The Power of Conflict, Speak Your Mind and Get the Results You Want, sums up Taffer in a nutshell. Not only does it discuss the benefits of effective arguing, it also teaches conflict as a leadership tool. Sound familiar? Taffer has tenaciously relaunched and revamped hundreds of bars on the show, so it only makes sense that he would one day open a place of his own. And as it turns out, it's a true pilgrimage for bar rescue fanatics. In 2020, Forbes noted that Taffer planned to launch his Taffer's Tavern chain across the country. In partnership with the masterminds behind Five Guys, the neighborhood eatery emphasizes sous vide cooking that doesn't sacrifice quality for friendly vibes. I am so proud of Taffer's Tavern. It's the best work I've ever done. In addition to a location in Georgia, outposts in Massachusetts and Washington, D.C. opened in 2022. And even more spots in Florida, Nevada, and Georgia are set to open next. Still, the question remains, will even a guy like John Taffer be able to stay alive in a notoriously volatile industry? The Washingtonian described the tavern's ambiance as moody and man cavey, but the reviewer wasn't on board with the mixologist's prepared cocktails that apparently resembled frothy-tasting Gatorade. One person called it a, quote, elevated TGI Fridays. But the good thing about Taffer? He doesn't seem to care too much about people's opinions. Along with his restaurant chain, Taffer hoped to offer people around the country the same sous vide taste from the comfort of their homes. And for the first time, hungry fans could pick up one of his seven pound heat and serve beef shanks at a Costco near them. It's tender, it's juicy. It's one of my favorite things. In just under two hours in the oven, you can create your own Taffer's Tavern vibe right in front of your TV. But while some Redditors love the versatility and low-stress prep, others just couldn't endorse a product from someone they described as a tool. Still, something tells us Taffer would go up against the best of those keyboard warriors any day of the week. Let's be real for a minute. Bar Rescue often devolves into a wild train wreck that we can't stop watching. And as brutal as his methods may be, Taffer does have some pretty decent strategies for winning at business. You know, like not getting drunk on the job. But despite his attempts at replicating his success, no other show has taken off quite as well. You're up against serious competition. He first co-hosted Hungry Investors, signing on for a collaboration that landed somewhere between Shark Tank and Kitchen Nightmares, but with slightly less screaming. Taffer and two celebrity chefs would visit two restaurants and determine which one was worth investing in. But the show quickly fizzled after the first season. That makes no sense! Then comes Taffer's real career curveball, Marriage Rescue, where he treats every couple on the brink of divorce like the jaded managers and owners from Bar Rescue. It earned 5 out of 10 stars on IMDb. Then, his most recent show, Restaurant Rivals, Irvine vs. Taffer, pin celebrity chef Robert Irvine against Taffer to see who can best revive a failing restaurant. If there has to be a Bar Rescue spin-off, this is probably it. Stirring up a little controversy is nothing new to Taffer or his Bar Rescue team. From being sued multiple times to his berserk behavior, Taffer isn't immune to taking a little heat from the press. But in 2021, he made a comment so personal and off-colored that nearly everyone was up in arms. How much money did you make last night? Eight dollars. How much did you make last night? Nothing. Got any kids at home? 
Yes. It all started when Taffer appeared with Fox News anchor Laura Ingram to chat about service workers getting unemployment benefits during the pandemic. When Ingram mentioned just cutting off unemployment altogether, Taffer essentially compared service workers to dogs. It's a hungry dog is an obedient dog. Maybe that's true of actual dogs, but Twitter users were outraged by the tone-deaf response. Some pointed out the classist disconnect, and others claim they lost respect for Taffer completely. One comment even alleged that the host company, John Taffer LLC, received two PPP loans totaling around $60,000 during the pandemic. The next day, Taffer apologized on Twitter, explaining that his analogy was misconstrued, and saying he hoped to see the service industry come back stronger than ever. But that wasn't the first time he inserted his foot into his mouth. You would think that a show about bartenders would be widely praised by the hospitality industry. But there was definitely an outcry from the community over an interview Taffer did in 2016. You take one drink, I'll fire you in front of everyone! Chatting with the Huffington Post, Taffer detailed the workings of a successful bar, not to mention the do's and don'ts of drinking at a bar. But shortly after, Vice clapped back at all the ways the interview enraged bartenders everywhere. They specifically noted a Twitter thread about how Taffer incorrectly explained the origin of tequila. Even the now-defunct Facebook group, Bartenders Against John Taffer, was formed in response to the comment. Bartenders also criticized Taffer for calling the old-fashioned underrated, as well as his thoughts on tipping. Thrillis did a follow-up interview with Taffer, noting that he had great respect for bartenders, but was looking at the position through the lens of an owner. As Taffer put it, I think the bartending community actually really likes and respects me. There's about 20 or 30 snobby bartenders in America, and it doesn't really bother me if they felt otherwise. It seems that everyone from celebrities to your best friend's aunt out there has a podcast. And Taffer is no exception, having launched his self-titled show, The John Taffer Podcast, in 2018. Hello, I'm John Taffer, and welcome to The John Taffer Podcast. When it comes to his content, Taffer not only features a few famous faces, but doctors and self-help gurus as well, to offer their best advice for makers and creators in business. He spills his industry secrets and how-tos, and also doles out his opinions and advice about hotbed political topics. Some of Taffer's big-ticket guests include Carrot Top, Dr. Phil, Shark Tank's Damon John, and Robert Irvine. Taffer even featured then-President Donald Trump in 2020 to discuss the upcoming election, Taffer's potential political aspirations at the time, and COVID's impact on the hospitality industry. But if you don't have time to shut it down and listen to an entire podcast episode, you can always hunt Taffer down on Cameo. Snag a personalized message from the bar savior to you for a cool $350. You know you kind of want to. You get to see Taffer in action on his show, but for some, just seeing isn't believing. Regardless of whether you're Team Taffer or not, he has certainly seen it all over his years on the show, and he's offering his signature education for the rest of us. Now, fans can take courses with Taffer himself to find out everything he knows from his time in the service industry. In 2020, during the lockdown, Taffer offered a free Resetting America series that featured classes for business owners on how to deal with a post-pandemic restaurant industry. On his website, he posted virtual workshops and ebooks for the convenient price of $99.95. I'm talking, you're gonna listen. Okay. The lessons feature tips on promoting, opening, sourcing, and designing your own Taffer approved bar or restaurant. But if you really want to go all in, you can even hire Taffer and his team for one on one help with concept development, remodeling, and even resort operations. Now, if only you could book him for kids' birthday parties. We can only assume that Taffer has banked quite the cozy nest egg by now. And that's thanks not only to Bar Rescue and the successful ventures that resulted from the show, but also the billion-dollar company he launched back in 1994, NFL Sunday Ticket. At the time, Taffer was serving three years on the NFL Enterprises board. Still, most fans know him from his show, and his net worth is surprisingly high for a reality TV host. If your chest is more important to you than your wallet, you're an idiot! According to reports, Taffer's worth a cool $14 million. And while it was a massive hit, we're guessing all those funds aren't coming from Bar Rescue alone. A little deep dive from What's Their Net Worth estimated that Taffer and the Bar Rescue crew earned around $100,000 an episode. It also estimates that along with the show and his other ventures, Taffer takes home around $450,000 a year. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig to us. However he does it, he definitely brings home enough bacon to deck out his own swanky home bar, kick back, and stir up his next big idea. 